tricycle, I'll explain it later. Jeffrey, he's a good guy. How's he going to go there, bro? Ah, Philippine. Ipe Ipe? He's from Ipe Ipe. You know what's Ipe Ipe? What's that? You don't know what's Ipe Ipe? No. It's a tree. Is it? Tree. I just learned Ipe Ipe is a tree. Now you know. The one we had in our property. Oh, the one we planted? No, it's just growing there naturally. Ipe Ipe. Okay, the first errand is we got to find a picture of a specific bearing because the red rocket uh, has a small little issue we got to fix. So that's what Kumar's up to. I know you. I know you too, bro. Oh, yes. My Selingan. Selingan. Remember, your hometown, you're all Selingan. Neighbors. Inero. In here. I'm not sure if uh, about valves and masks, so I'm just gonna switch over to the Kung Mir Gondon mask. And it matches my shirt. Okay, long. Thank you, Brad. Lama boss. Oh, yes. Thank you, Rada. Salama. This is Ate Efer, our laundry lady, and she's awesome. Thank you. Salama, <laughs> Okay, laundry is done. Now I just really, really want Ampalaya. I hope they have it this morning at Edwards. Come on, Ampalaya, Ampalaya. Come on, Edwards, you're always good. Come on. You yeah, have, they have? Please tell me they have it. Yes! I want all of that Ampalaya. <laughs> the best! Kumar is joining the anti rice society. No rice at all. This is cool, this is a uh, tortung hippon, little shrimps, kind of like a paddy. Tortotelong. The reason I'm filming right now, Ampalaya, the best, they had it. Last time I explored Katil wanted Ampalaya, it wasn't anywhere to be found. This time it's here. The best. You get lucky now. <laughs> the best. You can't turn it. It's fish. No, it's, not. it's pork, I already asked. Kumar is trying to trick me that the lumpia is fish, it's pork, I won't eat it. Two weeks, baby. I just gotta say, this car wash is legit. Look it. 
That is a stepping pad before you go back in your clean vehicle. Shiva, come on. Come on, yeah? Yeah, that was... It's very good service. Very good service, I agree. That is, that is a level up. I officially love Grease Monkey Car Wash. This is the best, here we go. Yes. Yes, thank you Brad. Salamat, the best, thank you bro. I don't know why I'm so stoked on that man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, <laughs> honestly. Honestly. Oh. Well, have you uh, ever seen that? Uh, actually, I have. Oh, you have? I have, yeah, yeah. Okay, well. I usually like put newspapers. Newspapers. Uh, on the floor. Well, wait to ruin the moment, Pops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, wash the car. What else did we do? Eight Ampalaya. We actually just went to the municipal hall where we met our friend who's gonna help finish uh, our structure. So we have them starting tomorrow, which is awesome. Uh, and now, the big reveal, we had our first problem with the red rocket. So I'm just gonna pull over in a sec, run outside, show you it, and then we're gonna rock and roll and live this day some more. So, Aaron's almost done. Let's go see the red rocket. So to see the oh no the red rocket it's okay though we just have an oil cap to seal it that wore down a bit and because it's surplus you need a specific number so we're gonna be good the boys in cat are awesome mechanics they're gonna fix it but we just got to get the correct seal which is what Kumar was looking at earlier maybe in Bagunga or we have a friend in Kagiyan who can send it to us so for now the red rocket stays here. Thank you, Brad. And Timo Pangalan again? Ricky. Ricky. He's a good mechanic. We'll fix it in the future. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Right. What's up? It's all good? <laughs> Dude, is that the mechanic? Oh. Okay. I think he. I think he's like, what the hell? <laughs> His name's Ricky, right? Oh, Ricky. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, right? Go, go back. Is no, Ricky, no, hi. <laughs> Slava, Ricky. Thank you, Brad. <laughs> he's like so shocked man. Yeah, he looks so shocked. <laughs> because he was looking at it. It's cool, it's cool. And I asked you a big obligation. What? To repair it. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> to repair it properly. He gives us already on the camera. <laughs> no, no. Do you think I just put pressure on him? No, 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 no. I didn't mean that. I just want to make sure it was rocking, man. Okay. Nice one. Nice, Cabral. We have Paco. What? Asa. Inside. In I want Paco. You want Paco? And Calabasa. Let's have a vegetable night. We met our lawyer in Baganga to sign some documents and things for the land. Now we're just cruising back and we found this awesome fruit stand. What are these again? What's the pangalan? Avocado, evergreen. Evergreen style? Mm. Evergreen variety. There's three types here. Three mm. types of avocado. This is evergreen. This one is like regular ba? Yeah, regular. The purple one. Regular one. And then... These like unique local native ones. So I've got three types of avocados. We're just gonna buy two types though. Bisaya. What's that? Bisaya ng avocado. Actually? They call it bisaya. Bisaya. Sakto? Besaya? Nanti. Besaya avocado. Besaya, kita tahu kan apa? Ang pangalan besaya avocado. Fights, okay. Avocado ng besaya. Besaya nako. Unsay again? Unsay pangalan? Unsay besaya bundle? CP. CP. We're gonna get some CP sasaging. CP. Word of the day. Bundle. CP. 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 And of course, kerangang. The best. CP. CP. I really, I really like this gate. Look at they finished the fence. It goes all the way across the front. Uh, 
Woo! Okay, here's what's going down. The typhoon has gone way up north. It's gonna pass the coast of the Philippines, but it's left behind some pretty intense looking swell here. Some of the guys are going out surfing. I'm gonna eat my ganungang. Let's take a look at how they're doing. Those waves look pretty gnarly. Uh, in fact, this beach is really unpredictable when it comes to surfing. I know that I show the guys surfing a lot, but what I think is really important to emphasize is these guys have been surfing for years and years and years, all the way up and down the east coast of Mindanao. They're confident, they're experienced, and if you're a beginner, you shouldn't just be coming here hopping in the water without being with professionals and saying that too. Nobody here is actually certified to teach surfing. So it's important to know guys, if you do come here and you decide to go surfing, you're doing so at your own risk. And there's really nobody here who's certified to train you. And yeah, it's uh, even swimming. I mean, it looks beautiful and fun, but people have died at this beach. So uh, you have to be very careful, understand you know, your ability as a swimmer or a surfer and the ocean's ability as a powerful force of mother nature. I think they're moving though and they're gonna try another spot here. Let's see if they can catch a wave. But I just wanna emphasize to you guys, please be safe and please don't come here as a beginner thinking, you know, this will be fun and easy because the truth is it can be very dangerous. You guys are way too silent for this game. I know it's going down, Brad. I know. You guys will be yelling in 30 minutes. In the meantime, hello, friends. What are you guys doing? Fire committee. Yeah. What are you talking about? Avoiding mosquito. Actually? Yeah. You're gonna grill the fish. Oh, you're gonna grill the fish. The lip lipan. Lip lipan. No way. Ah. So that's really not a fire for Lamok. Uling. We're waiting for the Uling. Two kilograms of lip lipan. Giant bundle of Paco. 
Ugh. Never open the rice. What have I done? So wait, what's the technique here? The technique is build a fire. Build a fire, then with the charcoal arrive, right, just put the charcoal on top. So then we'll create a... Uh, the eagle has arrived. The eagle has arrived? Asa. The eagle has arrived. Where's the eagle? There. Eagle one, eagle one. Eagle one, oven, oven. Onions and a hus. What's this for? Paco. Paco? What are you going to put in the paco? Paco. Unsa, unsa salud. Only paco and spices. No meat because you don't eat meat. Can you actually put meat in paco, be honest? Oh. Is this. Suba. By the way, is this the bahao? Bahao. Oh, we always eat the old rice. And is it true that some people like the old rice better than the new rice? Me. Why? Nano. No. It's the best. The best? I don't know why, but it tastes better than uh, older rice. <laughs> older rice. That's so funny. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's like aged. I don't know, aged with goodness. But are you gonna actually cook the spices before hucking them in the paco? No. So you're gonna put them in the wok? Yeah. By the way. Hey, I don't see a gas canister anymore. We did something. Oh, very safe already. Do you want to try something crazy too? Want to use the olive oil? Uh huh. We have, look it, look it, look it, look it. Dude, I found in one of the boxes. Da, 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 da. Okay, sacto. Oh, yeah. <laughs> go, 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 go. You're gonna actually, oh, you're gonna, we're not making this like suka paco, we're making this like stir fried paco. Nice! With cellophane! <laughs> With cellophane, no! Dude, it looks so good, man! I'm gonna use the Malaysian... Oh, the Malaysian seasoning? Yeah, the stuff we got in Tawi Tawi? Oh. Yeah, we got this Malaysian seasoning. Where is it, bro? I think it's... Yeah, there. What exactly is that? I don't even know, bro. It's like a dark soy sauce. It's for me goreng. Oh, like molasses -y, I think? Ah, uh, yeah. Mmm. It doesn't have... Like the smell of normal soy sauce. Show me the bottle, let's see the label. There it is. One second. Oh, keycap man is What? I don't know how to pronounce it, man. <laughs> me too, I didn't yeah. understand. <laughs> Looks good though. Don't worry, bro, I'll take over. We have to wait for the fish to defrost. So in the meantime, welcome to Kulasa's table. Remember Brett, at his <laughs> table? I am going to show you how to make a very Filipino style Bisaya avocado. Alright, just going to open this up. Oh my gosh, man. How did you do that before you did? Ah, look at that <laughs> style, Brett. All right, we got the we got the core. Basaya avocado. This here, little bowl of sugar. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our spoon and we're gonna get the outside of the avocado like this. We're gonna take the sugar and dump a little bit in. There we go. A little bit of sugar in the avocado. Then this is the key. Okay, you don't just get in there and start eating it. You gotta give it little slices like this. See how I'm pushing the spoon? Kind of like in a X formation. Square formation, rectangle formation. And then we're gonna do the Gordon Ramsay flip. Yes, here we go, see? Flip it over. And we're gonna squish it around. Like this but Give it a little mix more. Alright. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna present this to Kumar. Local Messiah. So I'm gonna. 
Filipino style. Oh yeah, or it's a... Uh... Chai, chai, chai. Abe, tell me, na? Oh God. Is it good? Sugar. Can, can you, do again, do again. Be honest. Mm, you mix some um, brown sugar. Oh, brown sugar. You didn't mix it well. It's good. It's still good. Okay, back to me. <laughs> Hello, what are you? Are you the light director? Yeah, I do the lightning. Lightning. John D, I'm really upset with you. Oh, if we're going to Bahau, oh. Yeah, Bahau. That is proof the Baha is the best. Good night. <laughs> Diva? Diva? Kumar? Diva? And also the belly. <laughs>